Have you ever wondered why photons are massless? If we tried to measure its mass, we would likely get a value of zero. And that's not just because our tools aren't precise or advanced enough. Light itself just doesn't have an intrinsic mass. So why is that the case? Well, it has something to do with gauge theory. Gauge theory provides the descriptions for the fundamental interactions of the universe, one of the most significant of which is symmetry. But what exactly is symmetry? When we think about symmetry in our daily lives, we're imagining a change of orientation from up to down, left to right, and even rotations. If the initial and end result looks the same after we apply these changes, we call it symmetric. This isn't too far from what symmetry is in quantum physics. However, instead of simply changes in the orientation of shape, we're talking about transformations to the very fabric of space-time itself. When these transformations are universal, meaning every single point throughout the entire universe is changed the same way, and the end result has the same properties the universe did before, we call this global symmetry. However, if we were to apply varying transformations but still conserve the same properties of the universe, we will have a local symmetry. More scientifically, local gauge invariance. Let's imagine this bowl of cereal is our system. As long as the total volume of the bowl remains the same under any transformation, it means that the system has symmetry. Don't be mistaken, our universe isn't really a bowl of cereal, if you can't tell. What we're doing here is creating a fundamental distinction between two types of variables. One that can undergo transformations, and the other that has to remain conserved, regardless of the transformations in the former. Therefore, rotating every serial by 90 degrees, a global transformation to the system, will leave the total volume unchanged, hence it possesses a global symmetry. What if we rotated the serial by different degrees, making local transformations instead? Well, like before, the total volume is left unchanged, and as we defined previously, since our system remained conserved after making local transformations, it possesses local gauge invariance. Here's the thing, the fundamental forces actually contain the property of local gauge invariance, making them gauge fields. Now, circling back to the photon. Without getting too deep into the math, this is a Lagrangian of the electromagnetic field, which obeys a U1 symmetry that is written here. This equation essentially describes the local gauge invariance. When we add a mass term to the Lagrangian and factor it into the symmetry equation, we find that it does not equate with gauge invariance. This is pretty much analogous to our zero bowl interpretation. Having massive photons is like putting whipped cream into our bowl. It is adding a whole other variable and groups of transformations that lead to the breakdown of the conservation of the total volume. So the reason why we can't have massive photons is because it would violate one of the fundamental properties of the universe, symmetry. Exactly, and now you know.